The Justice Department branded me as an enemy of the state and prosecuted me under the Espionage Act. Their intention was to bankrupt, silence, and imprison me because I threatened the surveillance state. Being a whistleblower can alienate you from your colleagues and friends. Being an Espionage Act defendant can alienate you from your natural allies in the civil rights and civil liberties communities. As defenders of the Constitution and the defense of the freedom and rights of all people everywhere, we cannot let this happen to future whistleblowers. Any domestic surveillance legislation must include whistleblower protections for the, for the credibility and enforcement of any reform effort. Otherwise, secrecy enforced by repression will turn into a faux reform passed into simply an honor system by for NSA dependent on the agency's confessions of violating new rights. I don't think so. Due to the material evidence disclosed by Edward Snowden, we now know in great detail, and I will add with much more to come, that the NSA does not have an honorable track record of telling the truth <laughs> while keeping track of us without our consent, hiding behind secret laws, secret opinions, and secret interpretations in the shadow lands of surveillance. Yeah. I agree, unacceptable, and we only know we only know of government spying, illegality, wrongdoing, and violations due to the disclosures of whistleblowers. The public eyes and ears exposing abuse of government power in the public interest. But without adequate protections, employees are more likely to turn a blind eye to the privacy violations of innocent Americans and risk professional and career suicide. It is the constant possibility of observation without our consent as a governed by those in power that stultifies society, renders creativity mute, engenders fear and erodes our freedom with the acid served up by the potent brew of secrecy combined with surveillance for the sake of security while forsaking our liberties as a price we must pay to make us feel safe. I don't think so. I was fortunate that I not, did not end up in actual prison, having lived the virtual version for a number of years, for coming out of the system and speaking truth to and of power. Clearly a dangerous act of civil disobedience and individuality for sure in these times, and now defined as a criminal act by the national security state, aided and abetted by journalists and reporters, expressing one's fundamental and inalienable right to individual sovereignty in the face of a government bent on destroying it. The last thing a free and open society needs is a digital fence around us creating a virtual turnkey tyranny with the bob wire of surveillance not only keeping track of our comings and goings, but now increasingly wanting to know what we think and feel, the very essence of who we are and share as human beings. I fundamentally reject this dystopian premise. And the siren call of security. If we just give up our essential liberties, given what happened to me and other whistleblowers like Edward Snowden. And so, it is time to roll back the surveillance state. It is time to restore the Fourth Amendment. It is time to repeal the Patriot Act. It is time to repeal the FISA Amendments Act. It is time that the United States government stops watching us. It is high time for us as the people to save the government from itself in order to form a more perfect union here and everywhere. We need to let freedom ring anew throughout the land because nothing less than our own future is at stake. Never, never forsaking life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is now my extraordinary honor and privilege to invite up to the stage Jocelyn Radak, the National Security and Human Rights Director for the Government Accountability Project. I think she might just have a few words to share. Jocelyn. I can't reach the microphone. Thank you, brother.
<laughs> I'm Jocelyn Radak, and I work for the Government Accountability Project, which is the nation's leading whistleblower organization. I see our president out there, Louis Clark. I never thought representing whistleblowers would be representing truth tellers charged under the Espionage Act. That's, I could never have believed that, but I have a message from someone I see a lot of signs out there thanking Edward Snowden. And We would not be having this rally but for one person, and that is Edward Snowden. He asked me to deliver this message to you, um, and I'm honored to do so. In the last four months, we've learned a lot about our government. We've learned that the U.S. intelligence community secretly built a system of pervasive surveillance. Today, no telephone call in America makes a, goes through without a record from the NSA. Today, no internet transaction enters or leaves America without passing through the NSA's hands. Our representatives in Congress tell us this is not surveillance. Put them on trial as war criminals! They're wrong. We've also learned this isn't about red or blue or party lines. And it is definitely not about Terrorism. The terrorists are in the building right there! Yeah. We the people. It's about power, control, and trust in government. About whether you have a voice in our democracy or decisions are made for you rather than with you. Bullshit! Bullshit! We are here to remind our government officials that they are public servants, not private investigators. This is about the unconstitutional, unethical, and immoral actions of the modern day surveillance state and how we all must work together to remind the government to stop them. It's about our right to know our right to associate freely and to live in a free and open democratic society. We are witnessing an American moment in which ordinary people from high school to high office stand up to oppose the dangerous trend in government. We are told that what is unconstitutional is not illegal, but we will not be fooled. We have not forgotten that the Fourth Amendment in our Bill of Rights prohibits government not only from searching our personal effects without a warrant, but from seizing them in the first place and doing so in secret. Right. That's right. Yeah. Holding to this principle, we declare that mass surveillance has no place in this country. It is time for reform. Elections are coming and we are watching you. Thank you from Edward Snowden.